In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your chart for day trading or investing as fast as possible. So if you enjoy the video, like and subscribe. I will also link all the best tools for day trading and investing in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is click on this little arrow at the bottom and then we're going to type in a name. We can put day trading. Now we have a blank layout so we can add everything that we want, but we'll be starting with the charts. To select a chart, just go over here in new window. After you can go into chart, depending if you use TWS or you haven't, your charts are going to be looking pretty different from this one. But also there's going to be multiple settings that you do want to remove if you're going to use it for day trading or investing because it's too much cluster on your chart so what you can do to do this is go over here into this little wheel click settings then we're going to jump into this section and make sure that everything is properly done so these are my current settings so i did remove the market clock chart value label because if you start putting everything and click apply you're going to see that you have like this little thing then you have like more things on this side over here and the more you add the less you see of your chart so you go back click settings and then you're going to unclick pretty much everything. The only thing that I leave is going to be the horizontal crosshair line. So I do like this. And this is just going to be like this arrow, this crosshair. It's pretty useful to just go and check what's the price at a certain level. You know, you, you just put your mouse over the price that you want to see. And on the right side, you're going to see the price that it's at. So going back into settings, we're going to remove everything. So horizontal crosshair line, that's totally fine. Intersection between trading days, that's fine. Prior close is pretty important. Bypass parameter window, margin area, cross air, and then you're gonna go to view and make sure that these are selected. So if you they're not selected, even if you have selected something in the prior window, it just won't appear on your chart. So you wanna make sure that it's selected over here. So we can see this line, it is the prior day close. If it's not click, you're not gonna see it, even if it's selected in the other section. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading and invest. So let's get back to the video. So you're gonna do prior day close. Also, if this margin is too tight over here, we can see right now it's really zoomed in. It's hard to know if you're actually looking at the last trading bar. So what you can do is just go over here at the bottom and just zoom it out. So now you have some space over here and you really see what's going on. So going back into settings, what we're gonna do here is just go a bit more at the bottom and make sure that if you wanna change your font, it's gonna be over here. And you also need to check this custom font so you can select the one you want. I like to have it at 12 so I can see. Something that I do wanna make sure is that I remove the toolbar in chart frame. So if you have it, you're gonna see these button over here. I wanna make sure that they're not there and I'm definitely not gonna be trading from this over here. So you click hidden, apply, it's gonna be done. So for the rest of the section over here, this is how it's done. If you want to see your arrows on your chart, so when you trade, you want to see, you know, when you have an execution or you sent an order, these are going to be all over here. So show live order, show filled order, show canceled order. I personally never want to see my execution on my chart. It just makes me emotional. So I have nothing selected over here. So going into the next section, this is going to be important. Allow more than 500 bar. This is just when you zoom out, you're able to see as much time as possible. This is going to be more important if you're looking at like the one minute. You want to make sure that you see as many bar as possible. Otherwise, if it's not selected, sometime it's just going to allow you to zoom back just a bit instead of using the full chart and seeing every bar that you really need. And the next thing, show selected time. So this is just normal. Line grab sensitivity. So this is if you're putting a horizontal line or anything on your chart, how sensitive is it to grab it? Sometimes you rather have it at low. Otherwise, every time you move over, you click somewhere near, it just grabs it and then just moving all over the chart. And also something I like to have is show sub chart security selection dialog. So the following thing over here is the up, down, arrow, key action. So this is on a keyboard. So if we do OK, then we go over here. So if I put the up button on my keyboard, it's going to zoom and then I can zoom out with the bottom one. So this is just an easy way to just zoom in or you can just you know, zoom out. So it's a good way to go around your chart, not having to really use your mouse that much. I have it selected. Otherwise, you can use it to, you know, move your active order. This could be dangerous because sometimes if you tap on your keyboard without really 
realizing it you could change the order that you have the following thing over here is just the body outline and this is what we saw over here so when i click like this you can see that this is the outline is selected on a specific bar you can have it in a different way but this is the setting that i have so going back over here this is how it's done you can have also a vertical strip i think it's a little odd but body outline is the best way to go what i did for this chart is pretty interesting because on tws when you click on your chart it automatically makes a trend line you can see now we are over it but i don't like to just you know every time i click on my chart it just creates line everywhere i just find it really confusing so what i did is i just went on a line like this and i did change trend line color and you can see over here that it's just black so it's not showing on anything like this so going back into setting the next thing you're going to do is go into chart color and this is where you could change everything that you want on your background so this is going to be your your background you know what color are we looking at when it comes to this you can do apply and now we see we have like a gray chart if you prefer gray that's how it's going to be done i prefer to have it as a, almost a black one so i can go to rgb and then i can just or hsl and just put it a bit darker and now this is already better if i want to remove you know all these or just change the color of these i just go back into setting and these are going to be the grid lines so you can just go over here select a dark color and then just click apply and now you know we're back to a normal chart if you'd like to change the bar color so the up bar and also the down bar it's going to be over here i know some people like to have the green as white and then you just click and it's going to be exactly like that so you can really customize everything you want. Now, if you want to add an indicator, the way you do this, it's going to be like this. You're going to go into edit, you're going to go into study, and you're going to type in the study that you want to see. So I personally like to have VWAP on my chart. So it's going to be intraday volume weighted average, and then you can just apply. So if you change the stock or anything like that, you can see now you have VWAP. And if you would prefer to change the color like I did over here, what you need to do is just go into edit, you're going to go into studies and then you have the selected indicator that you want you can click on intraday view app change and if you would like to have it a yellow instead of a purple or a blue just do over here okay and now it's fully done so some other things that you can do if you go back into chart parameters you can have your custom time period so if you always want to see the five minute or the three minute these are going to be done over here so right now something that's important for me is the volume Otherwise, you know, you don't know how much volume is going to be on your chart. And this is just in chart parameter. So prior close is selected crosshair bar detail zone. So some other things that are quite important when you have these settings dialed in. So right now I'm going to just put it back to a regular five minute like I have. So I want to remove the scale fit study. So why this could be an issue is if you're using a certain study that's lower than the price or higher, it's going to cut on your chart. So a good example of this would be Bollinger Band. And you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to click Ignore Study instead of having it as Scale to Fit Study. So click Ignore. And you can see now that like it's going to leave more space for your margin at the top or the bottom. So just like this, even if the indicator is pushing through, it's not going to matter. At least the price, you're going to be fine to see it if you prefer to have it otherwise. And also keep chart up to date. So this is so at least, you know, it's always moving to the next bar show data outside of regular trading hours if you don't have this what's going to happen is you know everything is going to be together and you're not going to have the pre or post market data and this is where having extra bars between the two prices could mean something so if you go back to settings and then you're going to have over here it was at one bar if you put it to something like nine you're going to be able to see that now it's going to show you some gap between the different type of day so you're going to go back into settings and then you're going to put it back to a, either a one or a two we're also going to be removing this indicator so you're going to go back into study and then we're going to remove the bollinger band because it feels a bit too much on this chart if you're going to go back into chart parameters and also add the pre and post market data so you're going to click show data outside of regular trading hours and then we're going to click ok and now your chart is going to be fully done so this is how i personally use my charts and every time you open a new one normally is going to save to the last chart that you have it's just the indicator that you're going to need to add again but overall all your settings are going to be done so thanks for watching as usual all the best tools for day trading will be linked in the descriptions peace